Here we are in Ladybug Gardens again. It's January 19, 2010. We're looking in the garden for dormancy. This is Taos. Uh, two weeks ago it showed dormancy, the deciduous bud that is characterized by this thing, and we see it's doing that again today. Really, no change in this plant in two weeks. But I wonder, since we've had over 10 freezing mornings, what the other plants look like. Let's go look. Here we are, notified ground crew. Two weeks ago, this was not showing dormancy because the foliage was up about this tie. And even though it was dying back, it didn't have the deciduous bud. It still doesn't have the deciduous bud, but it's got a lot closer than it was just two weeks ago. So maybe there's this thing, it takes time to establish dormancy. Let's go look at some more plants. Here we are with Annie Armstrong and you can see that this is not a deciduous bud, so this is not dormant at this particular time. Let's go look at some more. Okay, here we are at Bell Lugosi, and uh, last time we looked at it, it was showing the same dormant trend. And so, you could say that it looks dormant, but I caution you on that statement. This, these two rows have been lined out uh, in late fall and very common for uh, line outs to have the foliage burned off because there's not much there. As you can see over here on this line of older line outs, the foliage has been burned off but there's still some green because it's just bigger. And, but in no way would you call this dormant. So I think it would be an error to call Bella Lugosi a dormant at this particular time. We need to come back and look at this after uh, a few more weeks. Let's go look at another one. So here we are on the uh, north west side of the garden and we're looking at the corn that had a little bit of frost damage on it and you can see it's been totally whacked by the uh, uh, freezes we've had in the last couple weeks. The seedlings which are mainly evergreen in nature have all been uh, cold soak but uh, look pretty good. There's still a lot of green there and then as we get more into the garden you'll see that there's uh, more damage to the cold. Okay here we are at very berry ice and we were looking at this part of this particular plant and it was showing uh, a deciduous bud but it's still pretty high up but this is Florida we do not get the really hard temperatures which really chase these plants back into uh, the crown. So it is reacting, you can see it's uh, um, trying to form the bud. Is it a dormant? Well, at this time I have to say still not, but it's showing some dormant characteristics. Let's look at a few other plants that are just here in this bud, in this bed. This is Yabba Dabba Doo, uh, won a lot of awards. There is nothing dormant about this, and you can see the foliage is even quite tender, uh, indicating that it doesn't have much, quote, antifreeze in the foliage. This next one did a lot better as far as the, the cold, but still there was, you know, quite a bit of yellowing and damage and this is, you know, um, makes the plants not look very good. This one has a lot of um, green to it, indicating that for the temperatures that we hit, it had a lot of, quote, antifreeze. This is uh, Tuscola snowdrift. This one got burned really bad. That's uh, Sharon Voint, one of my mom's best uh, cold weather openers. And this one got a little bit zapped. You can still, it still see, it has a lot of green, but you can see there's a lot of variability in the amount of cold damage that plants happen. All right, what have we learned about dormancy in the middle of January? Well, not very much. Maybe we should look back at the definition of evergreen. AHS describes it as leaves that are green throughout the year unless severely frozen, and evergreens do not set rusting buds. Okay, do not set resting buds. I guess that means resting, because I've seen plants set these to look to be cup deciduous buds, and they grow out of them. So if they grow out of them, they can't be dormant. So what's happening in my garden? Well, there must not be that many dormants. Well, what does that mean? Well, let's take a look right here. I'm in the middle of Ned Roberts' 
daylily. And most of his, it, most people agree, have a lot of dormancy in it. And you're seeing in my garden, not much dormancy at all. You know, I, I've had some severely burned foliage, but I still have green. And so if it has foliage and it doesn't stay in a resting bud, then it can't be a dormant. So I still think we have a lot of answers. As you sit at home and you're, you look out in your garden and everything is frozen and been frozen and under snow, you're sitting and say, all my plants are dormant. Well, they're acting dormant, but I would say that you have a lot less dormant in your garden than you think by this definition. But I think we still need to learn more. Maybe in a few weeks we'll learn more answers to these questions about dormancy. Are we having fun yet? <laughs>